Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your April 2020 monthly reading. This is for Virgo. Virgo, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Virgo, this is for you for your April 2020 monthly reading. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Virgo for April 2020. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on with Virgo? Okay. Okay. Okay, um, the past is trying to block you, literally trying to stop you from like, uh, moving in with somebody and I, I'm going to, it may sound a little specific here, Virgo, but generally speaking, the past is trying to stop you. And they are really going all out here. They're going to try to stop you from moving on. Going towards this. Going towards your happiness here. Um, to, towards a higher level of commitment. Specifically speaking, they are going to try to stop you from moving in with somebody. Getting married to somebody. Having children with somebody. Right? Right? Right. Wow. Um, they're watching you. The past is very much watching you. The past is watching you. They're, they want to reconnect. Okay. Uh, they got a lot of regrets here. They know that you've got closure on this. They know that you have moved on. They know this. Okay. Um, and you... You are almost like fearful that they're going to return. Like once they find out that you're, you're really moving on and they know that you're moving on, that they're going to show up. Guess what? They're going to show up. They're going to show up. This is a situation like uh, you and this new person are going to be like standing and taking vows together. This is the picture that I'm getting in my head. Like eventually you and this new person is going to be standing and taking vows together and the priest or the preacher or whoever is going to say, does anybody have object objections? And this person right here is going to stand up and be like, yep, I do. They're going to like pop out of the bushes or something. I got, I have an objection. This is that type of energy. That's what I'm feeling here. They want to stop this from happening. Okay. Uh, but I don't think you're going to allow that to happen because <laughs> you're going to get what you want here, Virgo. You're going to get what you want. You're moving on towards your happiness. You walked away from this past person because you were not emotionally fulfilled by them. They did, they could not give you what you needed because they are not complete as a person. They themselves are not complete. They got work to do. Plain and simple, they got work to do. I think you realized it didn't have anything to do with you. Did they break your heart? Yeah, they did. Um, but you got through it. You, you, you're rising from the ashes here. And, and you're making your way to bigger and better things. You're on your way. They don't like it. Eight of Cups. This is water energy, right? It was too exhausting. This person put the weight of the entire situation on you. There was an in ending here. You let it go. They're struggling to let it go. They're holding on tight for dear life. Ten of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. There you are. You have to take time to heal from this person. They were a mess. 
they were crazy. And they still are, in my opinion. Um, so this is your card. You coming out in your own reading um, are um, definitely in control here. So just know that. Nothing's going to be able to stop you from your happiness. But you did have to take a moment to heal from this person. Cross watchers, don't come at me with, I'm not, you know, this is all about, yes, yes, this can all be vice versa. And I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign that you're dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better here, Virgo. Keep in mind, you could be dealing with a situation like this right now in the future. Some of you may um, have already dealt with a situation like this. Um, cross watchers, keep in mind that these roles can be reversed. It's a general reading. So assign the roles as you wish here, right? Assign the roles as, as you wish. You could come to me and say, Virgo is the one that's crazy about me. They're obsessed. They're the one that's watching. Okay, well, that's true. It's a general reading. All right, so yeah, you Virgo, you had to take time to really reflect on what you wanted, what kind of energy you wanted around you for the long term, that kind of thing. You're looking for something stable. The past was not stable. It was 100% dramatic, and you carried the weight of the situation, period. Right? All right. Okay, so at the heart of this reading, right, we have an opportunity here, a blessing here, okay, and you've been healing beautifully, and that's really, really nice, right, but I do feel like you moving forward to something real, something tangible, a new beginning that could last forever, this could be your forever Virgo, this could be what you've been looking for, this is what's crossing that. The past wanting to reconnect with you, okay? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. So they're acting as a block, okay? Leo kind of got something a little similar, but not real. It was similar that the past, but it was mostly the way they felt about the past. You got closure on the past. You got closure the past, your past, hasn't gotten closure on this. Nope. Nope. You're ready for bigger and better. You're like, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's work this higher level of commitment. I'm ready for something real, something long term, something stable for want, right? Past wasn't stable. Past, past was wild and dramatic. And at the root of this reading, it caused a broken heart here. It caused you to have a broken, a broken heart. Um, and I feel like you moving on, um, you're kind of returning the favor. And I know how cold that sounds. Um, but the, the fact that you're moving on with somebody else is breaking this, this past person's heart. And they're kind of watching it happen. They will try to stop it for most of you, for most of you. Like I said, I see that scene. It's like a movie in my mind. Like they will like pop out of the bushes. If, if you and this new person are going to go get married and say they object, the preacher will ask for objections and they will say that they object. That's a song. Um, three of swords. So yeah, you're returning the favor. Oh my goodness, three of swords. You got closure on this. You're ready for new chapters. You're ready for new things. You're ready for, like I said, something real. You got closure on this. You closed this toxic cycle out. You learned your lessons. Thank you. And you're ready to move forward with new chapters here. Okay. Now, in the near future here, Virgo, we got this queen of wands energy. So, um, you've, you've really had to heal from this and I feel like you're doing a great job. You could be, you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. Okay. Let's get that out of the way first. Um, but this is a situation where 
embracing this Queen of Wands energy, you really had to, you know, rise up from the ashes, take your power back in regards to this situation and go after it really full force. Go after the things that you want and you're not going to let this past person stick their nose in your business. It's not going to happen. They're going to try. They're going to try to stop whatever this is that you're headed towards, but it's not going to happen. It's not. Your confidence is back. Your swagger is back. You're ready to rock and roll. And you're rocking and rolling, Virgo. Okay, so what's crowning this reading is the Six of Swords. Getting away from all the drama and moving forward to what you want. Some happiness for Virgo. Hallelujah, right? You learned your lessons, like I said. Thank you, past. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm moving on. Six of Swords, it's air energy. This is you in the situation. I feel Queen, King of Pentacles energy. It's Earth energy. Um, this is you, and this is what you're looking for. Okay, male or female does not matter. You want somebody that wants stable. You want somebody that wants long term. You want somebody with their act together. You want somebody that's got offers. You want somebody that's ready to receive offers. You want somebody that is ready for forever, like you're ready for forever. Okay? And this is what you're going towards. This is what you're passionate about. You're passionate about your forever happiness. You want higher level of commitment. You want higher love. You don't want to deal with all the nonsense. You put a close to that. You healed from that. You're ready to move forward. All right? You could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody with strong earth in their chart. The past is watching all of this go down. And like I said, it's killing them. It's killing them. Somehow, some way, you could say, I blocked them, they blocked me, whatever. They can make fake accounts. They can ask other people about you. They can cross-watch tarot readings about you. There's a hundred million different ways <laughs> to spy on somebody besides the internet, right? So they got eyes on you. They're watching all of this come down, uh, go down. Now, in your hopes and fears, number one, you're hoping this new energy that you're headed toward is a soul connection. And I do believe it is. I believe it's a, it's a higher love type of situation. And that's a good thing. You also feel fearful that the past is going to try, try to come and stop you from your happiness. And there, I, for most of you, I feel like they're going to. Right? Six of Cups. They can't shake this soul connection with you. Six of Cups. Water energy. The outcome here, we have the hair font. So this is your higher love that you're headed for, Virgo. It's your higher calling, your higher love, this long-term commitment. This is good. You could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. So you're on your way. You're on your way to something real. And that's beautiful, right? You were. I feel like you were hurt and you were wounded for a long, long time. But like I said, with this person you're you're over that you you you've grown you've grown from this whole experience and you're healing and you're open to new experiences here you could be dealing with um an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart you could be embracing this king of swords energy where you have went so cold towards the past that quite frankly you don't mind returning the favor because they really did a number, right? They really hurt you. They really broke your heart here. Um, but I feel like you're you're starting to um, see things very clearly. You're moving forward. And I feel like you easily will cut off the past. Cut them off. And you have no problem being very sharp with them, with your words. If they too try to come and mess up your happiness... You are going to, you bypass the queen of swords, okay? You're going to embrace your inner king of swords and you're going to go full force. This is a stealthy, this is, this one, this is something else right here. You don't want to mess with this one. This one's wild. Look at here. 
I do feel like this new energy is a very strong connection. And I feel like you're following your heart here, right? So that's really nice. I'm glad the lovers popped out. You could be um, dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. Okay. I'm going to quit. We're going to shuffle. This is for Virgo. For April 2020, this is for Virgo. Please clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. Ooh, ooh. This is going to be a time for celebration here. But you see these threes? You see these threes? The past is still the past is still a route. They want to be a route. They're going to try to stop this because they want to reunite with you, like I told you. But you got two people that's that admire you a lot, Virgo. And I feel like there's a lot of respect given to you. The past, I don't think, respected you in the past. I feel like they respect you now. And they hold you in that high regard. But this new person, they definitely admire you and respect you. You are going to be celebrating a true partnership here. Okay? Now, this new energy is going to want to work on things with you and be in a true partnership with you and walk hand in hand with you. That wasn't like the past. Past... <sighs> Like I said, you carried the weight of the whole thing. You did. But this new energy, this is going to be a cause for celebration, right? A cause for celebration. So this is like, um, and I'm going to get a little specific here. All right. But don't mind me. This is like the wedding, right? I know I keep talking about a wedding. Um, this is like the wedding and this is like the reception, see what I mean so that's really nice I can dig it and the past is going to be watching the whole thing from the sidelines all right this is for Virgo this is for Virgo for April 2020 This is for Virgo for April 2020. What's going on with Virgo? Woo! This new one is awesome. Right? Great love is worth it is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. They're going to put in the effort here. This new one's going to put in the effort. You, you're going to see the difference. It's you're going to see the difference and the passion between you and this new person off the charts allow your heart and soul to sing with joy here virgo right now this past person yeah they may come back around and say i'm going to put in the effort now right i just feel like you know i feel like the past still has pat passion for you too so these cards can go either way but the new person is is something else this new person's ready for forever. They're ready to settle down. The past was not ready to settle down. They, they're going to have to deal with that, you know. They're going to have to deal with that on your own. I feel like you tried. You put in 110%. You did the best that you could. And you just were not getting what you needed out of the situation. And you, it was too dramatic. It was too much. And it, and it hurt you. This person hurt you. So you moved on. And you, you moved on to an absolute blessing. The past is going to try to stop that from happening. They're going to try to stop that from happening. Like I said, they're going to watch from the sidelines. And um, it's too late. You're gone. Virgo, you're gone. You're gone, baby. All right. It's a nice connection, too, especially with this. It's, it's almost like a past life connection between you and this new person. With these, this is very strong soul energy cards here. So that's very nice as well. Very good, Virgo. It's a time to celebrate. I love these two cards together here. I love them, right? You can see, like, there's the preacher. Here's the reception. So, I don't know. Are any Virgos getting married out there anytime soon or planning on it? 
Let us know down below in the comments. Virgo, that is your April 2020 monthly reading. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll leave those links down below. Um, make sure you follow the links because there's a lot of um, false accounts out there. But Virgo, thank you for your patience. Um, I'm, t I'm late in regards to my schedule because I took a few days off last week to try to collect my energy because there's a lot going on in the world right now, right? And, um, yeah, but am I late? It's not, it's not technically April yet. Not till what? Wednesday? <laughs> so, am I late? I don't know. You decide. You decide. All right, Virgo. Um, that is your April 2020 monthly reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. And um, I hope it resonates for some of you, most of you, all of you. And yeah, that's it's a good reading. All right. Um, that stalker card always comes up for you guys. <laughs> it always does. Um, what else? For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And I usually do follow a weekly schedule and, I, and, and a live schedule as well. You can uh, find that information down below in the description box or in the uh, about section of my channel. Um, this week's going to be a little different because we had an extra week in, um, we had an extra week in the month, I guess, leading into next month. And, um, so we're going to do, we're, I'm finishing up the April 2020 readings and the rest of the week is going to be like general reads and pick a card reads and things of that nature. Um, so check all of that out. It should be fun. You guys take very good care of yourself, okay? And we will be on regular schedule come, starting next week, all right? So you guys take very good care of yourself, and I will talk to you very, very soon, all right? Take care, and God bless.